Hey guys, Moo JK here with another character demonstration, this time with Ryle and the Ranger class uh, job. So this is that first Ranger that we actually have in Global, and as you may know, this is the upgraded version of the Hunter job that we are so familiar with. Um, so it's important to point out some of the differences and, and improvements between the two jobs. Uh, first off, uh, let me take this off actually. Um, how do I take it off? I have to go back to the first screen um, so yeah let me take off that bow um, if you take a look at the stats the attack and dexterity are gonna be kind of the main stats that determine the damage uh, these stats are already a lot higher than uh, the hunter class so if I can compare with my Elmira and notice that she's even level 79 but if you switch to her hunter job um, her attack and her dexterity are noticeably lower than Ryle. So right off the bat, you're going to have the ranger job doing more damage. Let me put the bow back on. I feel naked without it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's one major difference. Another thing is with the um, passive, um, I have a little bit of a mixture here. This is how I set it up. I have a perfect evasion from the uh, twin blade swordsman class or job, but typically be high trap. Uh, Eagle Eye, uh, this one is a ranger passive that gives plus two range. Uh, with the hunter job, you'll basically have, I think it's called Hawkeye, and that's just going to give you plus one range. So again, this is going to give you an additional one range, which is a big deal. Also Deep Focus, which is going to give you an attack and hit rate modifier for missile type attacks. So extra damage there. And we'll demonstrate this, you know, in the level, but... Just want to kind of quickly go over it right now so that I don't have to do it during the battle. Scouting shot is a five range attack, which is actually one extra range than you would normally have. Um, it is a charge up move, but it's useful when you can't reach the enemy and it also does a little bit extra damage. Uh, Hunter's eyes does a little extra damage as well. 100% uh, hit, which is nice to have. So if you have the jewels to spare, and you don't want to just do a regular attack, Hunter's Eyes is going to do a little bit extra damage for you. Piercing Bolt is actually a big difference. Uh, this was not available at all in the Hunter job. And this essentially is like uh, the sniper job, um, Piercing Shot or Piercing Snipe, which lets you shoot kind of straight through enemies. So this is really useful. It has a range of four. It, whenever you see a scope one square line, that means that it's just going to go straight through. So this is really useful. Um, I guess gunners had it too, but yeah, gunners and snipers typically had this, but uh, hunters didn't. So this is a nice addition to the ranger job. And then arrow rain is a really, really sweet skill. If you remember, the hunter job had something called divine shot, which was basically you shoot all these arrows up into the air and it lands in a three by three um, cross shape onto the enemies and this one is actually five by five and i believe it has additional range as well but it's five by five diamond which actually puts this on par with uh, magnus's machinist ability bombshell which was one of the best aoe abilities in the entire game so you have something that has a five by five diamond just like that on the ranger which is going to be really sick basic hunting these are um you know some of the alternative skills um, I'm not gonna use too many of these typically uh, you might want to you know bind days while wide barrage is kind of like the same thing as wild shot or something like that pretty much the same it's three by three three range um, but typically these are not as useful I would say as the regular hunting skill so yeah I mean I guess there could be some builds that would use um, basic twin blade here so that you could charge your own physical attack and raise your evasion. I might consider building this up actually, but you know, it's better than nothing. So anyway, without further ado, why don't we get into the level and demonstrate some of these abilities because it's actually pretty impressive. Um, so we'll do the same thing we did last time just for consistency. Nice trial pursuit. Um, okay, I'm giving it away a little bit there, but my next video will be on Sabaretta, so stay tuned for that. It's actually 
surprising as well. I was not expecting to be using him. But yeah, let's go ahead and go with Ryle right now. And we'll show off some of his new abilities um, with the Ranger class, Ranger job, really awesome stuff. Okay, so first off, um, yeah, so scouting shot, as you can see with the cast speed 360, this is a charge up move, so you do have to be careful about that. But the times you need the additional range, it's going to come in handy for you. But for now, let's just go ahead and um, get some jewels so that we can start using the abilities. So yeah, you can see it's pretty good damage. I mean, granted, it's Knight's Pursuit, but um, I, I would say it's clearly more damage than the Hunter job. All right, so let's show off this ability here, Piercing Bolt. Like I said, it's just like a Sniper or Gunner class where you can go right through the enemy, and this was not available before. Very handy stuff. And of course, um, even on the um, normal attacks, you're getting extra range as well. So extra range is obviously always useful. Um, let's go here, get some more jewels up. And then we'll show off the... Um, the best AOE ability, I would say. And it also has decent range. So, Arrow Rain. Let's go here. Um, yeah, look at that range. Or scope, I should say. That is a wide area. So, yeah, just a massive AOE ability. As I mentioned in my other video with the um, battle tips or whatever... AoE is great for obviously hitting multiple enemies, but you can also kind of take advantage of the AoE properties to gain extra range on your attack. So, you know, normally you'd only be able to target certain squares, but then once you target those edges, then you can get the extra range from the AoE. So you can end up hitting enemies that are actually really far away. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much Ryle in a nutshell. Um... I guess we can show off um, the basic abilities, but I don't think that they're quite as good as the um, the main uh, ranger abilities here. But I do think that they're worth looking at. Because there are some status uh, effects and stuff that you can take advantage of. You know, in certain scenarios, you're going to want to do that. So, sniping shot is bind. Also, make note of which ones are charge moves and which ones are not. Um, well, I guess it's not really going to matter because they're all going to die with the shot anyway. But, yeah, there's different um, statuses and everything uh, depending on your needs. Um, the first three are all charge up moves. So, cast speed 360 is approximately three turns on average. But, it depends on, you know, how much the other players have... Um, accumulated in the CT or the count or whatever. So um, I guess the last thing I'll just show is the I think it's called wide shot. And correct me if I'm wrong, but because of the ability that gives you a hit modifier, I do think that this has a better chance wide barrage. I do think this has a better chance of hitting than wild shot on the um, Hunter, but even so, it's definitely inferior to, um, okay, so two out of three is not bad, but, you know, in some cases, you're going to want to do that as um, a little bit of a risky move, but again, the AoE is nice, and the possible extra range could come in handy, but yeah, it's certainly not as good as the um, Arrow Rain, I think it was called. It's not as good as that one, of course. But yeah, this is just a really, really solid ranged attacker. And again, um, as I've mentioned in the banner review or whatever, having the first job be the most useful one is just going to be really, really good for um, new players and old players alike. I mean, you know, you don't have to pull like 
a number of copies to make them useful. You can just start building them up right away. Um, we'll end it with Hunter's Eyes, which is basically an extra damage of the regular attack. So instead of 689, sorry about that. So the regular attack would do 505, but with Hunter's Eyes, you do 689. So it's a nice attack boost there, and you never miss. So anyway, that is my demonstration of Ryle. Really solid character. A lot of fun to use, and that AoE ability is just amazing. Like, you know, I used to think Magnus was just untouchable when it came to AoE, but you have kind of some competition here, and if you don't have a Magnus with the Machinist job, uh, this is a great alternative for you. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I love using this character. And stay tuned next, um, I'm going to be doing Sabaretta. I'll kind of keep it a little bit of a surprise, but um, yeah, I'm really... It's an unexpected surprise um, how fun he has been to use. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.